Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the Absolute Word Ministries Why We Daily Devotionals. I am your host, Minister Keisha L. Peterson. But before we dive into our devotional tonight, all devotionals come from the YouVersion Bible app or Bible.com, unless otherwise noted. Um, I invite you all to join us in the group at bit.ly forward slash A-W-M-Y-V as in Victor, D as in David, D as in David G. So that's A-W-M-Y-V-D-D-G. Like our page right here on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash Absolute Word Ministries. And we ask that you subscribe to our YouTube channel at bit.ly forward slash A-W-M-Y-T-C, all capital letters. We are currently on a mission to reach at least 100 subscribers. When you subscribe, shoot us an email at absolutewordministries at gmail.com and you will receive an ebook of I Am Who God Says I Am. If you would like to sow a seed into the ministry, you may do so at paypal.me forward slash AW Ministries and the number one or our cash app at the dollar sign AW Ministries and the number one, all capital letters. Once you sow a seed, you can shoot us an email as well and let us know that you sowed a seed into the ministry and we will send you a free ebook of I Am Who God Says I Am, Living My Life on Purpose. So we're going to go ahead and get started on tonight's topic and that is dinner time. We will be coming from Acts chapter 2, verses 43 through 46, and Psalms chapter 30, verse 5. Acts 2, 43 through 46 reads, And they continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in breaking of bread, and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And they continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart. Psalms 30 verse 5 For his anger endureth but a moment and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night but joy cometh in the morning. Amen. The devotional dinner time. What is your family schedule like? Does it ever seem like all the family members are going in different directions all the time? One way to fight that trend is to make dinner time a priority. As husbands and fathers, dinner time is one of the best ways to reconnect with your family. Is there anything magical about having a meal together? There could be. In fact, throughout scripture, we see significant moments happen over meals, feeding of the 5,000, the Last Supper, and studies show that when families make it a habit of eating dinner together, teenagers are less likely to use drugs or alcohol and are less likely to have high stress. Children of all ages do better in school. Eating together isn't the only thing that makes families strong but it is a good indicator that family members are making time together a priority. We can't let our families drift apart because of busy schedules, because there's something on TV or someone calls on the phone. Once you start allowing distractions in, keeping them out becomes much more difficult. Dinner time is one tangible way to take back time as a family. Although the commitment also needs to apply beyond the dinner table, we have to set boundaries for together time and protect it. And when the kids complain, family dinner, why? Don't lose your positive attitude or get drawn into an argument. Just smile and say, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. One sobering exercise is to calculate how many days you have left with your children before they leave home. If your child or children were born today, you would have just over 6,500 days 
and dinner opportunities left to influence and connect with him or her at home. If your child is nine, cut that number in half. If your child is 12, you have just under 2,200 days left within him or her. One father of a high school senior says that every time his son suggests that they do something together, he finds a way to make it work because he knows those opportunities are almost gone. Sharing a scripture at dinner, one of the few times you will have the full attention of your family is at the dinner table. Take that opportunity to share a Bible verse and then talk about what that verse means or for your children to share what their day would, they would like at school. You know, I mean, you can make games out of the scriptures, you know, uh, make it, you know, make it exciting to remember to have the children, you know, try to recite and remember some scriptures, some verses. You know, there are some nice, easy verses in the Bible for children to remember. So hus husbands, as we get so tied up, we know that we get tied up during our day-to-day -day hustle and bustle at work or even school that you sometimes forget about your wife. Now, I don't mean you forget you're married. I mean you forget that she is just as busy as you are but would be elated to hear your voice in the middle of a hectic day. So, a dinner time challenge. How can you lead your family spiritually at meals? What's a question you can ask at the dinner table to engage your family? Okay, so what activities do you do at dinner time to try to connect with your family? Share them in the group under this broadcast. Because see, your activities might be able to help someone else to connect with their family. So based on tonight's devotional, what is one thing that God is saying to you? Feel free to leave your comments right underneath this broadcast so that way we can all learn from each other. Amen. Don't forget to join us tomorrow night at 8 p.m. as we continue on with day five of Uncommon, Being Better Husbands and Fathers Daily. God bless you and have a wonderful evening.